First question from Dave Vassay, go ahead. Hey Clayton, I know you talked about this, but uh, now that you're here, is it strange that you'll be pitching here for the first time and your family won't be able to be in attendance? Uh, yeah, but you know, this whole thing is weird. So um, it's, it's definitely different to be in Dallas and I have to stay in a hotel and things like that. But um, you know, at the end of the day, both teams are having to deal with it and I'm not the only one with family in town. And um, you know, it's even more reason to make it to the next round so people can come and watch. You and Kenley have been here the longest. You've known him for a long time. How do you think he feels about the team deciding to go matchups in the ninth inning and him not being the guy for the first time in a while? Well, I think uh, because Kenley and I have both been here a long time and not, you know, won anything yet, I think um, he understands that he just wants to win. And, uh, you know, he's, he's going to be great about it. And it's not like we're not going to need him. You know, we're going to need him at some point. We're going to need him in a big spot. So, um, you know, we're, we're all bought into just trying to win, you know, the next 11 games. And uh, he, he's going to buy into that as well. Thank you. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Clay, what, what do you remember about the last game you pitched in this area, Dallas area? Uh, I don't, I guess it was a high school game, maybe. Um, yeah, I, I, nothing really. I mean, we won, I think, and that was about it. Uh, just being here, have you had, I, I understand in a normal season, you guys would have ticket requests in every city you go to. Have you had people reaching out to you about NLD, uh, NLCS World Series, people kind of hounding you for tickets? You know, I think people understand that, uh, you know, our focus right now is trying to beat the Padres. But if we're fortunate enough to do that, I expect, you know, maybe a few requests for sure. Thank you. Next question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Clayton, with a five-game series potentially with no days off in between, how much do you feel that each pitcher needs to be as efficient as possible and, and go as long as they can just based on the fact you guys don't get any sort of breathers? Yeah, well, that's, I think that's why we're built. You know, the Dodgers are built so well for this type of situation. You know, we have guys up and down between starters and relievers that can, you know, pitch quality innings for us. So, um you know, the postseason isn't something where you go in saying, you know, I have to pitch seven innings, or I have to pitch it. It's just uh, you try and get the most outs you possibly can and just focus on getting an out at a time. Um, not So, yes, efficiency is important. And, you know, obviously the deeper guys can go, the better, um, especially in this setting. But at the end of the day, you just got to get outs. And, you know, people will step up and, um, you know, pitch more than they ever have before, I'm sure of it. How much of an opportunity have you taken yet to familiarize yourself? I realize you've been here before, but to familiar, uh, familiarize yourself with the mound, the outfield, just all of it. Yeah, you know, it's always good to be able to um, be, get here soon, get here early and, um, you know, have a few workouts and kind of familiar yourself with, uh, familiarize yourself with, you know, the home side. We haven't been on this side before, you know, just uh, we got to work out yesterday with the roof open, which is good. So, Lots of different things. Um, you know, I'll take a look at just what the view is from the mound. and um, But, you know, as best you can. And it, it, we did, we were here, you know, last month as well. So that helps also. Does it feel any, you know, any similarities to perhaps Chase Field, a place where you've pitched a lot? I know it's a little bit like Minute Maid, but does it remind you of any park in particular? Uh, maybe a little bit like uh like Houston as far as the layout but I don't think the ball goes quite as far here at least from that first series that we played maybe it's a little bit bigger ballpark than that but um you know we'll see with the roof open if that changes anything um it's obviously brand new and beautiful and really nice and um you know it's the home side is pretty special over here so it's pretty cool Finally, for me, Clayton, I know you've done such a good job of keeping the ball on the ground this year, and certainly the old ballpark lended itself to the ball going out. This one, not as much. How much do you think that plays into being successful here now that it's not flying out as much as it did at the old ballpark? Yeah, you know, obviously keeping the ball on the ground is great for lots of reasons. Um, the turf is funny, though. You know, it just it takes some weird hops. I remember last time we were here, they had their guys pounding the ball into the ground and beating stuff out just because they bounced so high. So, there's going to be some weird nuances and different things like that, but, you know, ultimately, um, 
it's a great place to play. And, um, you know, obviously we'd love to be a Dodger stadium, but this is a, this is a good alternative. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Along those same lines, Clayton, do you pitch to the ballpark? And if so, how? No, I don't. I kind of thought that would be your answer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Next question is from John Morosi. Go ahead. Thanks, uh, Clayton. Uh, two questions for me. What were the first memories that you have of, of going to Rangers games here in Arlington? Do you remember the, what year it was and who your favorite players were growing up? Yeah, I mean, I remember a lot of it. I had uh, I had some friends that had some tickets that I got to go with every once in a while. And um, we used to sit like kind of on the second level, like right behind the third base dugout. And uh, it was a ton of fun. You know, I, I, I remember getting to go to a handful of games every year. Um, favorite players were, you know, Will Clark was probably my favorite. You know, I've always I've said that for a while now. That's why I wore number 22. And um, but all those guys, you know, I mean, I think uh, the, the years I grew up, it was like, you know, Rusty Greer, Kevin Elster, Mark McLemore, Otis Nixon, all those guys. So it was uh, it was it was fun to, you know, have a team to root for so close. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Hey, Clayton. Obviously, there's a thriving, you know, youth baseball scene in, in Dallas. And, you know, uh, you got you grew up playing with and against, you know, guys that ended up in the major leagues. And I was just kind of wondering what that was like for you to get to grow up in that kind of environment and how much of a plus do you think that was for you in terms of your development as a player? Yeah, you know, it's fortunate just because of the weather. You know, I think we get to play a lot of games in the summers and things like that. Um, I mean, it's a whole nother, you know, story that don't get me started as far as youth baseball and all the, you know, the hoop ball that goes into it. I would just much rather have it like we were when we played every week and got to practice every once in a while and things like that. But played a lot, a lot of, uh, played against a lot of great talent. Obviously, I played with guys like, uh, you know, Sean Tolleson, who played here at the Rangers and Jordan Walden and um, a lot of big league guys. So um, that was definitely helpful. You know, on my high school team, I probably was like the third or fourth pitcher in the summer, you know, behind those guys and a few others. So um, it just, uh, just goes to show you that this place has a lot of great baseball talent. Is that kind of amazing now when you look at it, that, you know, the, how many of you guys made it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I think uh, it's a pretty special group. And um, it, is, it is amazing when you look back. And uh, I guess now that I think about it even more, it's just, uh, you know, like you said, pretty thankful that you get to be on a, a group as talented as that because it can only make you better for sure. Next question is from Evan Grant. Go ahead. Go ahead, Evan. Next question is from Stephanie Epstein. Go ahead. Uh, Clayton, if a veteran pitcher came to you and asked for advice on getting uh, velocity back, what would you tell him? Um, uh, be healthy, for one. I think that would be the, the main, just become healthy, however you can do that. Um, but it's still a work in progress for me personally. You know, I think, you know, different days you feel better than others. But um, I guess the one piece of advice that I wish I would have followed earlier in my career was, you know, being stubborn is good because it's what got you here and having a routine is important. Um, but just be open to different different things. And it's, it doesn't hurt to try and just go back to what you've always done if you don't like it. But um, I think my advice would just try to listen to the right people and try to figure out who those people are. And uh, fortunately for me, you know, I've got a great group of people around me with the Dodgers. And, um, you know, as far as like cutting edge things and new wave technology and things like that to try and make you better, they're, they're pretty special about that. Without divulging any state secrets, can you tell us any of the things that you've tried this year that you hadn't tried in years past? I don't have that much time. I've tried, I've tried everything. I don't have that much time right now. Okay, thank you. All right, try this again. Go ahead, Evan. Uh, okay, Clayton. Um, was was pitching in the old ballpark on your checklist of things that you wanted to do as a pro? Do, do you regret not getting that opportunity at all? Uh, you know, I thought about that. I think it, it it would be a pretty cool thing to say to get to do, uh, to have get to have done, but. I got to go and, uh, you know, I got to go be a visiting player in the ballpark that I grew up watching, like a lot of other big leaguers, you know, maybe get to do. So that was pretty cool. I remember the first time I was there, I think it was like 2009 or something. And, um, you know, you just get to go and 
literally be on the field that you watched uh, your favorite players play on. And that, that, that's pretty special. And uh, it wasn't lost on me. And yeah, it would have been cool to pitch. But at the end of the day, you know, not pitching, I got to see a lot more friends and family at the time. So um, I'll get to pitch here tomorrow. And that, that'll be good enough. That's cool. And so what do you, your group of guys like, like Josh Meredith and that whole group, what will they do tomorrow? Have you talked to them at all? If they can't go to the game, what are they going to do? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's late. They might be asleep. They got work the next day, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. They'll, they'll, they'll watch and, um, you know, hopefully, like I said, if we make it to the next round, I bet they'll find a way to make it into the stadium for sure. Okay, great. Thanks.